see she is calling to me. Oh, I'm coming back home to Ireland. Kid Mila Falta, 100,000 welcomes to Irish Paint Magic. I'm David Willis, and I want you to stay with me for the next 30 minutes or so. Please come up here, and this is a 24 by 18 canvas. And today we're going to go really down to the south of Ireland, down to the Fastnet Lighthouse. And I have the Fastnet Lighthouse painted in and covered with contact paper. You know, you know my form by now. And here I have uh, an old Irish traditional boat, unique to County Cork, and it's an old Irish yawl, which is a wooden uh, hull boat. And I'll tell you about that as the show goes on. The bottom of the canvas is painted with black gesso, and the top is just is just the, the unprimed. It's a prime canvas, just but there's nothing on it. So now I need to make this slip and slide. So I get my two-inch brush with some liquid clear, liquid clear, and I cover all the bottom of the canvas, the whole lot of it, with liquid clear. Right up. Be careful now when you're doing this not to put on too much. Don't put on too much. If you put on too much, it will make your life miserable. And you're not here to be miserable. You're here to be happy. Anybody that can't come out from their homes or watching the television tonight, please come with me to West Cork, really down to the south, to the Fastnet Lighthouse. Very famous lighthouse for uh, the round the Fastnet for ra yacht racing and all that. It's very well internationally known, the Fastnet Lighthouse. Not too many know about the yacht, yacht and boat, but I'll explain it to you as we're going along. It was used for um, lobster fishing long ago, back in the 1800s. Now, that's nice and slippy and slide, like a skating ring. Without cleaning the brush, I need to cover this with liquid white. But there's liquid white. And do it sparingly now. Now these are special brushes. This is a two inch brush, this. And it's used, it's a special bristle brush. And it's used, it's not a house painting brush, it's a special brush, but you can cover an awful lot of ground with this brush. And again, all these tools are special. The mediums are special, and the knife is special. And the brushes are special. When I say they're special, they're a special soft brush, so you can get lovely soft effects on your painting. And all these mediums are all available now in Ireland. And you'll see as the programs go on, they'll pop up and they'll tell you where you can get them. So stay with me now for the next 25 minutes. Now, all this canvas is ready for painting. And funny enough, when you put the mediums on, use the mediums, you'll use very little paint after that. If you want to test your canvas, just put your finger on the canvas, and if you get your own fingerprint, then it's perfect. But if you have a blob of paint, it's no good, it's too much. And if you don't get your fingerprint, then you will also need to put another little bit on. But your finger, fingerprint will test it for you. All I need to do now is get some blue and black and come up here and get into the old canvas. And don't be afraid to lean. Lean into the canvas. Lean into the paint. Keep the corners dark. There's a shower coming in there over. Over the fastnet. Just picking up a little bit of blue. But don't have that blue too, too bright. Make sure you put a bit of black into it. Tone it down. Tone it down. And with crisscross strokes now, go right down, right down the canvas. Crisscross strokes, it's on its edge, the brush is on its edge. And go right down, and the liquid white, talk to the liquid white. Please take the paint off the brush, please, Mr. Liquid White. And let it go right down onto the base, down to the horizon. And here, let it go right down, very gentle, right down to the horizon, right down there. And that's fine. 
That's fine. Just get off that hole here, there. We don't want that there. Just a little bit more blue there. Let the sky come through right over. Right over. And then set it all off. Maybe a little. Maybe there's a shower coming in there. Here's a shower coming in there, look. And now, with my one inch brush, I just pull it out. I've showed you this many, many times. And tap into it. Just pull it out flat and tap in. And come up and look at your painting. And you'll see where there's light and there's dark. And play one again the other. There's one color where the sun would catch the top of the old cloud. And just tap into it. Let the liquid white work for you. The liquid white will do it for you. And let it go right down into a shadow there. And when you come off, when you come off, wipe the brush. Just take any surplus paint off. Again, go back for more paint. And tap in again. And here, you can go back in there. Stay in there for a moment. You can pick up with that cloud. And let it run right down right down there and let it go right down into the shadow again and go away from it. Wipe your brush, go back in for more white and here you can use that now as as a shadow for the old cloud coming in there. Don't kill the darks. Dark is your friend. Don't kill it. Tap it and that will push that back and pick up the dot here and bring it in under the cloud here and it will cause a lovely shadow for you lovely dark shadow coming right in under that don't go up to the top of the cloud lovely dark shadow let it run right down in there and again now you'll see it's starting to push a hole right out through back for more paint and again you could play this again that dark above it and let it run right up, right up, minding the dark here, right up. And then tell yourself, start fighting with yourself. Go away from it. Go away from it. I'll spoil it. Let it go right down to the horizon. I'm fighting like hell with myself now. At least it gives Paul, the director of programs, a break that I'm fighting with myself. It is usually the other way around. Now, stop it now. And again, with a clean brush, talk very softly to your painting. Please, Mr. Sky, please sit down, Mr. Sky. Very gentle, very gentle. Talk to it, talk to it. Please sit down. Beautiful sky down over West Cork. Beautiful. The real county in Ireland, Cork. Oh, lovely county. And leave it. Just wash your brush in white spirit. There's a grill at the bottom of this here, a little grill. And that keeps all the pigments of the paint are heavier than the white spirit. And it sinks to the bottom. Into the bin, beat the hell out of it, and and you have a nice, clean, crisp brush then, nice and clean again, to start all over again. And that's basically, basically it. Mind your equipment and you'll have a nice, it's for life, you'll have a nice clean painting. Okay. Now what I need to do, I'm going to get a one inch brush with some black. And I'm going to cover this with black. Right along, right along. Work it up there to the horizon. Don't be afraid of it. Coax it up, right up, up to the horizon. And along here, and if anybody laughs at my cork accent, I laugh at their paintings. And that's the bark, that's an agreement. Now, fill all this with black. 
right down. Now the black is going up into the liquid clear that we made it slip and slide when we started this painting. Now all these mediums are available here in Ireland. Just look at the television and you'll pick up the address or whatever. Now if you want to put a bit of colour into it, you can put a little bit of green, a small bit of sap green. There's a bit of sap green. And if you want a bit of blue, a small bit of phthalo blue. And that let it go down into the let it go right down into the black that we put on. Don't want it too bright now. We don't want tropical water here. And then I'm fighting with myself to go away from it. Go away and leave it alone. And there I go. And I do. Now I'm going to go straight into titanium white. Take a roll of paint on the knife. A roll of paint, not very big, just enough. And then come right up here onto the canvas. Go up here onto the horizon and cut into it. Seesaw. Just cut in horizontally and let the waves break out at sea for you. Ask the waves to break out there at sea, way out in the horizon. Not very big ones, they'll break out there. Go on, Mr. Wave, break up there for me. Thank you very much. Make sure now that they sit down horizontally. There's no point in putting them at an angle of 45 degrees or anything like that. Just talk to the wave. Please, Mr. Wave, come off the back of the knife, please. And don't kill the darks. Darks are your friend. Darks are your friend. And again, just walk away with it. They'll come on there towards you. No great detail, it's too far away. Absolutely too far away. We don't want any detail. Now, before I go too far, I think I should expose the fastness. My island, oh I'm coming home. You all know me by now. And here I go. If the camera can come up here, please. And in under that, I need to get hold of that contact paper, right along, right along, and catch it, and talk to it, say so please, come right off, right off, come on, come on, come on, and let it come off right for you. Now I don't have enough time to be painting this, I had to do it in advance, and then, because I only get 30 minutes, no more. And this old director of programs, he gets cross after that. He really gets stuck on me and he gives out to me, he chases me around the studio and I have to run around the cameraman. Back out the back door and in the front door. He's taking mouthfuls of tablets and he's shouting at me, oh. <laughs> he didn't catch me yet though. But anyway, just soften it around the lighthouse. This is a very, very famous lighthouse down here in Cork. Very, very famous. And again, I'm just going to coax a little bit of the black in here now. I want the lighthouse to sit down. Sit down, please, Mr. Lighthouse, for me. Sit down into the ocean. And that's fine. Let the surface break. The surf will break around it there. And again, with my knife, I come back in and I'm going to cut in to that. Let the wave come right in front. Let the surf come right in front of the lighthouse and it will push it back. Big wave. Let them break. Don't tell anybody we showed you how to do this. Tell them for, you for years painting when you give these paintings to your friend. And now you're going to show them how to do it yourself. And right along. And here now, again, all along, just push in. Don't be afraid, but make sure, whatever you do, that all these lines are 
horizontal. That's all I'm asking you to do. No more. And let the canvas pull it off the knife. Now, this is a very special knife. I'm going to show you this knife. It has two edges. One edge here, a long edge, and a short one. And it's an excellent knife for mixing. It's excellent for doing all types of tricks. And it does, it's, not, it's completely different from the old traditional knife. This is the one that makes your life very, very simple. So I'm going to go back here now again with this knife. And I'm going to go in here to the... Come, I'm asking the camera to come right up here again now, please, to my contact paper here. I'm going in for the yawl. Yawl is an old traditional boat, unique to Cork. It was a lobster boat. And I'm asking it to come off. That's beautiful. And again, I had to do the same thing because Paul here, he gets very cross with me when he only gives me the 30 minutes to do these programs. But we'll shake hands when this is all over and we'll make up. He's not bad. He's not bad at all. Now, what I want to do here is I'm going to put white spatter on the knife, not a whole lot. I'm going into Van Dyke Brown. Just thinning it out. Van Dyke Brown on its own. I want it to be like ink or milk. Ink or milk will do fine. And I cut across that. And I come up here now and I'm going to get this and shove it up like that. It's much better to do this with do this with the knife rather, this special knife, rather than have a small, a small little uh, brush. You can tell them you got a brush. Tell them you bought it down in Cork. But don't tell anybody how to draw these very fine lines. Special. Special. More paint and more white spirit. And here, that would come down, follow. Something has to support all these sails. Don't be afraid, you will not damage the canvas. Just cut them in with the knife. The knife is a trick. And here, cut that down. And just here, support him like that. And onto the jig. Like that. And then just touch it for your little corks, jigs. I don't know what it is. these seafaring people will be given out to me now. I'm not calling these maybe the right name, but anyway, they're corks and pulleys for pulling all this type of thing, tightening the sails. Up here, we'll go up like that. I get my fan brush and with a bit of liquid white and titanium white mixed. Just pull right in front of that because that board will cause turbulence when it, as it shoots the wave. And then it would come back like that. Let it soften way down. Let it soften way down into the wave. Talk to it. And you'll see where we put in the green now, it's starting to pick that up. Starting to pick it up, that green color. And again, with titanium white on the brush, I'm going to And again, titanium white and liquid white, I'm going to Now these Yarl boats were restored, they were they're very rare and they were used in they're from they were used from 1887 up to the 1950s and um, they were used as lobster boats catch the base of this now and pull it down don't kill the darks but they're very unique boats beautiful boats in the west of ireland they have the corrocks down in, in, in uh, West Cork, in Kinsale and that. When they, when they have the lobsters, they pull into Kinsale and they pull into Cove to sell their catch. And they go right out again, fishing again, straight away. 
Down around Baltimore Festival now is a very famous place for these every year. And um, the only time that these people used to come when they'd come ashore, they'd come ashore for the harvest, when they had the grain to save, and the hay and things like that. Now I'm going to push up. And again now, catch the base of the wave, just a little bit there. Catch the base of it and pull it down to meet, to meet the other wave. Nice and gentle. It's just that we're getting a bit closer to those waves. Don't overdo it, pull it down and to pick up the greens and the blues that we had in there earlier on. And out here. Just let that. Now this will slip and slide absolutely in the um, in the liquid clear. You couldn't work this now without being in the liquid clear. So again, just continue another little bit. Let the surface break. And again, don't overdo it. Let that fella go down to meet him. Seesaw. Every time I do this, it reminds me when I had my children were small. Seesaw ducks in the pool. All the children are gone to school. Call them back and tell them to stay. But this is a wet and a rainy day. I don't know where, they used to do that down in Cork, perhaps, perhaps everywhere else too. And again, pull this down now, down and down and down, and don't over play it. And I'm inclined to do that now, so I'm just going to put another little bit there, just to fill that gap, and I'm going to say stop it, and to go away. And again. And again, pull it right down, right down. As I said, these yawl boats now are only used, um, these uh, 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 lobster boats, they're only used for festivals all around Baltimore and all that area. But lots of people come to see them. They're a unique, lovely boat, absolutely beautiful, with their wooden hulls. And they were unique back in the 1800s. They are uh, 24 feet long and 28 feet long. That would have been about the average size. But they wouldn't come ashore only on Sundays to come in. Now, I'm just going to get a liner brush with some black. And I'm going to pick up a little bit of tinned out black. And I'm just going to go up here and make a little bird or two hanging out over the lighthouse. Well known, all you boating people will know exactly where this is. The fastener, well known internationally. And again, I need now to do a little bit of softening, so I'm going to wipe my fan brush. Very gently, very gently. Get any little streaks or anything out of it. Talk to it, please, please, please. So when you're buying these brushes, make sure that they're proper brushes. And make friends with them. They'll do you for the rest of your life. They're a great investment, all these brushes and all these mediums. You hardly use any paint once you use the mediums. Go right along, touching, touching. And then, it's make up your mind time. Just to recap now, we used all this up here was liquid white. Down here was the black gesso, and I covered it with the liquid clear. And into the knife, just cut on horizontally and let the canvas take the paint off of the knife. I used the contact paper to cover these and that. And again, 
came on down here and just pushed up with the fan, the fan brush until I got the flow of the, of the wave into, into the liquid clear. And that's basically how that was done. It's simple, but put a little bit of practice into it now. Don't sit back at home in your armchair. Get up and get painting, because painting is for everybody. For everybody, whether you're at home, whether you're 8 or 80, it's for everybody. So until we meet again, Karamila Mahagot, Shlan Lat, and God bless you all, my friends. Ireland, my island, oh, I'm coming home. Though I roam, sure my heart never left her. Oh, the dark, rolling sea, she is calling to me. Oh, I'm coming back home to Ireland.